Alright boys and girls, new memory card here, so hopefully everything's good. And I'm going to start messing with the Cub Original. So I believe this is a 19... I want to say 53, but for some reason uh, I'm thinking that's a decade too early and it's 63, but whichever it is, it's the 3. Um, but anyhow, regardless, all I know about this thing, it's set uh, in my boss's field for a long time. Uh, when we looked at the date on the battery, it was somewhere between, <coughs> excuse me, what was it 88 and 92? Uh, yeah, somewhere between 88 and 92. So, the bat or I'm going to assume the tractor hasn't ran since then, and that would put it somewhere in the... So, I am 31, and I was born in 92. So, there is potential this tractor has not ran for somewhere close to 35 years. As you guys can tell, it's been sitting outside. Even getting the battery bolts off was a bit of a pain. We're going to assume all linkage are fro is frozen. Uh, yeah, all controls are froze. Um, the only positive thing I see is the motor turns over. I actually think it may have compression. Mm. But that's what I want to look at tonight. I want to get a battery in it and get it turned over. Um, see if any of the wires, like, definitely melt apart. I see this one sticking out here is, like, half brittle and falling apart. Um, and, uh, I'm just going to go from there. I want to see if it's got compression and see if it's moving air. Because if we don't have that going on, we might as well quit while we're ahead. And on a side note, the only thing I saw to check the oil with the plug air right on top of the block. So, I'm going to get a wrench, take that off, see what we got going on, and uh, see if I can tuck the battery in there. And just see what happens, basically. I know it's not going to have spark, I'm going to have to rob the spark plug wire, clean the points, blah blah, but I just want to hear it turn over, then we'll worry about that. So, BRB. So just on the fact that the dipstick is bent and there is only a little bit of oil at the bottom, I'm going to wonder if that connecting rod is not Wi-Fi in there, but there's enough oil at least if I, I, I can turn it over without doing much harm I would say, but it is right on the ad line and it is sloped that direction a tiny little bit, so I guess uh... We'll just start with trying to turn it over with a battery and see if it moves there. I'm trying to have you guys so you guys can see the exhaust. Right. So, uh, let's see if it'll turn over. I'm just going to use jumper cables because I don't have uh, real high hopes for this. Kind of turning over? I, uh... <laughs> smells like El Burnte Electricole. So, uh, let me... Let me try and oil this generator, because this generator actually has, uh, oil caps on it. And, uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I got everything oiled up there. It took me a little while to find my uh, little oiling can. I decided to be MIA for a bit underneath my workbench. 
Shut the hell. It seems like there's so much stuff in the uh, the flywheel area. I can't honestly tell if it's pushing air or not. So I need to do this time. I can clamp this side on and I'll hold the ground. Okay, that's what's gonna work. Not really. I wanna be able to reach around with one hand and It is actually moving air, so it ain't blowing up. That's a plus. So, I guess uh, I gotta look at why this thing is so hard to turn over. Could be the shaft going back through down here. I mean, I don't know. I never looked underneath of it. Should have. I had it picked up with a skid loader, but I couldn't get out of the skid loader. <laughs> so, it's not blowing up, anyhow. Positive. I wasn't watching. I don't think the rear spindle was turning. The um, uh, the lever is actually stuck down. It seems like for the brakes. So I don't know. We'll have to monkey with this some and see what I can figure out. Because everything is frizz up. Everything. So I'm not too surprised. I'll put a little bit more oil in the generator, but I don't think that's our issue. Um, I mean, it may be part of our issue, but, uh, I could try taking the belt off, going back to the, um, um, back to the transmission, and go from there. I also wonder if this is the original motor, but I just don't know. Well, I guess it had to have a pulley on it, because that's the belt drove that. I don't know, I'm unfamiliar with the clutch setup on these, so... Um, uh, might not be a bad idea to try and roll the belt off of there, huh? Hmm, see what I figure out. Alright guys, conclusion I've come to is I'm going to have to pull the blower housing off of this, which, uh, not what I was really looking forward to, but, uh, at least I know it has compression, and there's definitely, there's a bunch of, uh, I don't know, dirt, maybe mud dauber nests in there or something. I don't have a clue, but uh, kind of what I figured, this is going to turn into a monumental project, which uh, just looking at it, I I mean, I, you know, I should have really known that, so, yeah, all right, so, uh, ain't going to happen tonight, but another night, <clears throat> but at least now we know. Alright boys and girls, so since the last time I showed you guys anything, I have filled the engine with oil, I cleaned the points, I got um, this miragerie of uh, spark testers on here, really because I didn't have a spark plug wire that I could borrow, except for the tractor underneath you guys and behind me. Oh well. Sandy, do you have to squeak that toy? I'll take it away. I also have my little assistant here tonight, but she hadn't been squeaking the toy until I turned the camera on. Hold on a minute, let me, uh, let me hide her toy from her. Okay, I got spark for sure now.
I may end up changing the uh, starter on this thing, but. Also a bunch of dust in behind the flywheel. So I don't know. I don't really think it's turning over quick enough, personally. But it is loosening up. So all right, I'm gonna play around for a while. See if I can get the spin over a little better. I'm gonna go from there. Ninety-seven. So off camera, I've really been trying and cranking this over with the shop vac and stuff. And it's still got this much dust in it. I understand it. So. Helps if you hook the spark back up. I need to do I need to take the, um, the intake off this thing so I can spray direct into it that'll do nothing but help me so just want to hear it run once and then I'll work on getting the carburetor freed up and everything hey squeaks a lot so anyhow let me do that and I'll get back to you guys Choke freed up though, I tried.
Okay, same deal. Let's see if we got spark, and then I'll go from there. So close. Into the drive. Yeah, that's what that is. I think. I don't know. So close, guys. If I get it to run for ten seconds, I'd be happy. Wish I get the choke to work, that's half my problem. belt squealing for the drive. Okay, one more go here tonight. And if it doesn't go, I'm just going to quit for tonight. Just so the starter doesn't catch on fire. Here we go. I just need to clean the dust out and everything better. And the throttle is definitely wide open. Nice.